Here's a short video on reviewing the parts of the long bone. Now remember in class we looked at a cross section of a long bone. So when I put this bone, this structure, on a test, this is the femur, but femur is not the answer I'm looking for. I'm not looking for any parts of the femur. I'm not looking for the word femur. When I use this cross section, I'm looking for the structures or parts of a long bone. So that will help you because you won't get any credit if you put femur on the test because that's not what I'll be looking for with this, with this model. Okay, so let's look at the parts of a long bone. First of all, the ends of a long bone. You see one here and the other one will be down at the other end. This is the epiphysis. This is the epiphysis. The shaft of a long bone is called the diaphysis. Okay, the shaft of a long bone is called the diaphysis. Now, the diaphysis, within the diaphysis, we have what's called the marrow cavity. The bone is going to be hollow. Uh, remember, this makes the bone lighter, but it also makes it stronger. So that's the marrow cavity, and what you'll usually find in there, you will find in there, is fatty tissue. Now, we have two types of bone. We have compact and we have spongy bone. Here, represented by B in this line, you see this 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 bone lining the outside of the diaphysis and that is called compact bone that is called compact bone primarily in the epiphysis you see what's called spongy bone and if you look at it it's porous like a sponge now, if this was a live femur if we just yanked this out of a person and we cut it in half this area would be all red primarily because there are blood stem cells in this spongy bone that are producing your blood cells. And since the most abundant type of blood cell is red blood cells, um, that's why this area would look red. So this would look red, and then down in the marrow cavity would be more yellow. So again, one more time, the ends of the long bones are called the epiphysis. The ends of long bones are called the epiphysis. The diaphysis is the shaft. B is the compact bone. E is the spongy bone, and then remember A within the diaphysis is the marrow cavity. So again, review this, take the practice test, make sure you know this before you take the test.